There's that old saying that every journey begins with a single step. In the world of web development, that single step is usually Node. In this tutorial, you'll learn how to install Node on your machine. And with Node installed, you can run Ghost locally and begin your journey of creating a custom Ghost theme. Usually, JavaScript runs in the browser. But in 2009, Ryan Dahl had the idea to create a system, Node, which would allow JavaScript to run outside of the browser. Today, nearly all modern web development uses Node. Ghost is no exception. It's built entirely on Node. And fun fact, when Ghost came out in 2013, it was running on Node version 0.10. That's not even version 1. Another important part of Node that comes along with its installation is NPM. NPM stands for Node Package Manager, and it's a command line tool for installing, sharing JavaScript code. And it's what we'll use in another video to install Ghost locally, but it can also be used to install over 3 million different JavaScript packages. To install Node.js on Mac, open up your web browser and go to nodejs.org. Select the LTS version, the long-term support version, to download the installer. Once the installer is installed, go ahead and open it. And now follow each of the prompts, selecting the defaults. It now has been installed, so you can close this up, move it to trash, and you can open your terminal here. Make it a little bit bigger. All right, and you can run this command, node-v, to check whether node has been installed correctly. It returns the version that's currently installed, 18.15.0. And that means that Node is now installed on Mac OS and ready to use. Let's go ahead and install it. And you can do that by opening your web browser and going to nodejs.org. You of course can also just search for this and find it. And what's great here is that it will usually just give you the version that you need for your system. So we have our download for Windows here, and you wanna do the LTS version on the left, which is the long-term support version. This means that it um, is the most stable. So you can click that to download. Once the file is downloaded, it's gonna download an MSI installer, and you can open that file. And once the file opens, you can uh, go through the prompts to install Node. So we'll agree to the uh, agreement. We'll agree to the license agreement. Let it install in the default location. Leave all of the defaults in place. I will check this box to install uh, additional tools. This will save you in the future from some headaches um, by installing some additional uh, utilities and um, make things a little bit smoother, although it does take a bit more time to install. And that's it for the uh, configuration. Now we just let the installer do its thing, and then once it's done, we can verify that everything got installed correctly. Once installation is complete, we can verify that everything installed correctly by reopening our terminal. If you had your terminal still open from before, you'll want to close it and reopen it. And then run the same command that we tried before, node-v. And you'll see that it returns version 18.15. That's the version of node that's installed. We can also check the version of NPM, the node package manager. 
9.5.0. So we know that Node and NPM are both now installed on our machine and we're ready to install Ghost locally or use any of the other packages in the NPM repository. Let's install Node on Linux. I am running a Ubuntu desktop and I have Firefox open. So you open your browser and we're going to search for Node Version Manager. Node Version Manager is a script to install and manage Node versions and it's the easiest way to install the most up-to-date version of Node on Linux. So I'm going to open up the uh, GitHub repository for this. And here you see there is a table of contents and there is a command for installing this script. So I'm going to copy this command and then open my terminal. Paste this command in my terminal. So what this will do is grab the install script from the GitHub and run it automatically. So I'll hit enter. All right, so it ran the script and what I need to do now is close my terminal and then reopen it. And then I can com uh, confirm whether it was installed correctly or not by running command v nvm and if it returns nvm then i know that this was in fact installed and so what i can do is use nvm now to install node so i do nvm install 18 and this will install version 18 which is the most recent lts version you can check the ghost compatibility matrix to see what the most recent supported LTS version is. Hit enter and you can see now that the command is downloading and installing node. Again, let's close our terminal and reopen it. All right, and now to verify that node is installed, we can run node hyphen V, which will show the version of node that's installed, which is 18.15. Awesome. We can also make sure that node package manager, which is a command line utility for installing and managing node packages, uh, JavaScript code is installed. 9.5.0, so we know that that is installed as well, which means we are ready to start using Node and NPM to install Ghost locally or any of the other packages that are available in the NPM uh, repository. It's hard to overstate how omnipresent Node is in the current web development ecosystem. Name a website or app and somewhere along the line, they're probably using Node. Installing it on your system is the first step in creating an awesome web app or a super sick custom ghost theme. As always, we have a text version of this tutorial available in the link below, as well as lots of other resources to help you build beautiful things with Ghost. Mm -hmm.